Hi, I'm Aaron, also known as Yoshi from OrbitLightShow.com. And I'm Justin, otherwise known as Gummy. Today, we're going to show you how to build an orbit using the orbit adapter. Um, traditionally, we use zip ties to connect all your lights. Um, Gummy and I will have each four photon freedom lights for our example today. I'm going to build mine with the, using the new orbit adapter. He'll be using the zip ties. We're going to race and see who can build the fastest orbit. I have here an orbit adapter, some satin cord, my four photon freedoms, and that's pretty much all I'll need. And I'm going to be using my zip ties, my four photon freedoms, my ducky, <laughs> my satin cord, clippers to clip the uh, zip ties, and needle noses to tighten it all up. As you can see, with the orbit adapter, you don't need all these other extra accessories and tools. Okay, we're going to get started. On a count of three, Gummy and I are going to race and put this four light photon orbit together. Ready? One, two, three. So, I don't really need to start right away because I know I can build this in probably two minutes or less. Um, I'm going to give Gummy a head start right now. As you can see, I'm clipping in the lights into each one of these circles here. They clip right in, so it makes it really, really easy to do. I'm already halfway done, while Gummy is still tightening his zip ties using the traditional method. I'm already on the satin cord portion of the orbit. As you can see, he's struggling over there, using up all his energy and going really, really <laughs> fast. I'm just about done making my orbit. Where are you at, Gummy? Clipping. So I'm all set and ready to go. Gummy hasn't even got to the satin cord portion of the assignment yet of the race, so as you can see the orbit adapter is already your best bet when building an orbit. As a matter of fact, I can probably take this apart and rebuild it again before he's finished. But I, I'll save him the embarrassment. Yeah. <laughs> it's not even fair. You could also use different lights. Um, pretty much any one of the football shaped holes. Um, as you can see, they look the same as at the back. This is an ultra bright tier micro light. You can use dots, photon freedoms, photon twos, um, just about anything that looks like that. <laughs> ha. Good. Ha. When changing out the lights, you don't have to cut away the satin cord. If Gummy had to change those lights right now, he'd have to clip away those zip ties and the satin cord in order to change the batteries or change the lights up. Um, with the orbit adapter, as you can see, I just put two different lights onto this four light orbit and it's ready to go again. Yeah, I think Gummy should take part his and see how fat, how long it takes him to take it apart. That's right. He's trying to break away his zip ties, which means he's gonna have to buy new zip ties or go get some new zip ties. This is the old traditional method. It's 
pretty embarrassing. Again, you can simply take apart the orbit adapter and pull the lights right off. There's no need to break any zip ties or purchase a bunch of zip ties to do it. I win. <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron, also known as Yoshi. And I'm Justin, otherwise known as Gummy. Today we're going to show you guys how to use the orbit adapter to build an orbit. It's a lot easier than the traditional method. <laughs> <laughs> Hi, I'm Aaron. AKA, AKA. Hi, I'm Aaron, and this, I'm sorry. <laughs>